comes down to what do I got to use? What do I need to install this thing and to help power it up? Uh, I mean, what wires do I use? If you're like me, uh, you might have thought something like, hey, I've got that old dead shop vac. I'll cut the extension cord, the power cord off of that, and I'll use that because uh, it deals with power, right? And I'll use that to hook up my cell to the vehicle power supply battery thingy. Not a good idea. Um, here's another good idea that's not a good idea. Uh, go to a dollar store, get some jumper cables, and you think, well, I'll, I'll use these because these things are really big, and, and uh, I mean, that, that'll handle my cell, my little, my little cell, won't it? Um, well, actually not. You need to use the right tool for the right job. Um, and case in point is, uh, I, the very first cell that I made, I don't even have any videos of it because it was such a terrible cell, but I mean, it, it got me hooked on this HHO stuff. Uh, my brother and I, we, we kind of fixed it up. We used jumper cables and we're running the cell for about 20, 30 minutes. We found out that these cables got super hot. And back then, I didn't have any idea. I thought, well, these cables are huge. I mean, surely it'll handle that power. Again, we need to look at the job and use the appropriate materials or tools. So anyway, what I want to do is I basically want to say we need to use, how can I put this? Let's say if we want to put stuff in a bag, we want to use the right size bag. Because if we use the wrong size bag, our stuff's going to break out all over the place. In other words, you ever hear that saying where it says, you know, you're trying to, to shove like 10 pounds of crap in a five pound bag. Yeah, it's, it's going to break out and it's going to be a mess. And so we need to look at our HHO cells and look at our systems and the requirements and then use and look to find out which wire that we need to use to support uh, our HHO system and, and what amps that it, it needs. So anyway, I found a website and we'll go to it and then I'll talk on we look on the site and you, you got the idea. Okay, first of all I want to let you know that the uh, website, uh, the link over to the side, uh, I don't know anything about this site other than the table that we're going to look at and that's what I'm really concerned about. The, the stuff that it sells or whatever else, I get no money from it, I, I could care less about that. Uh, what I'm concerned about here is the wire sizes and stuff like that. And if you're interested, we look down here and we can see that AWG stands for American Wire Gauge. And it's got some big old DAWG and some huge formula, so you smart people can, can look at that. Um, what we're concerned about, at least what I'm concerned about, is the load carrying capabilities of wire. And as we see that uh, we need what we want to look at specifically is the maximum amps for tra power transmission, and in other words, we want to use the right wire for the requirements of our HHO cell system. Uh, for example, we look at this table and we see that the very first column here is AWG gauge, and it goes from quad zero all the way to 17, and even goes higher. Um, we've got conductor diameter in inches, we've got the same thing in millimeters, we've got ohms or the resistance per 1,000 feet uh, and per kilometer. You know what, I don't really care about this stuff here because you know what, uh, I'm only going to have about four, maybe eight feet of wire to carry the power from my battery to my cell. Uh, so I'm not too worried about getting that detailed. What we do want to look at is the next to the last column that says maximal amps for power transmission. Because what we need to look at first is our cell and find out what amperage it needs in order to produce the HHO gas that we need. And then we need to use find a wire gauge that will support that requirement. Uh, let me give you a, a an example. There was a system that I, even before I started uh, testing out uh, HHO and getting into it myself, there was a system I was considering on buying. It was, looked like it was kind of cheap, but it said that it, on the installation instructions that it said that it used 12 gauge wire. So let's go to the AWG gauge and go down to 12. And we see down here we go all the way to the next to the last column where it 
where the uh, maximum amps and that 12 gauge wire intersects, it says 9.3 amps for the maximum amps for power transmission. Well, what's interesting is that as I was going over this information for the cell, that the operating amps for that system was 7.4 amps. And if we look at this at the amperage, we got 7.4 down here, down below, and that's a 13 gauge wire. But what they had in their installation instructions was a 12 gauge wire. So in other words, that tells me that they wanted a little bit of wiggle room to make sure that the wires wouldn't overheat and that uh, it, you know, it would be able to handle the constant operation and the constant amps uh, going to that system. So in other words, we need to look at our cell and to make sure that if we've got a five pound bag uh, we, and we want to put five pounds of stuff in it, we probably want to get maybe a six or seven pound bag. We'll go up one size and just to make sure that nothing spills out and gets messy. Uh, another case in point, we look at the SMAC cell booster, or the SMAC booster cell. The SMAC says that he uses uh, about 19 amps, that's the, the preferred uh, amperage that he uses. So we go down, uh, let's look at the maximum amps, and we go down and we see, tw we don't see 20 amps, but we see 19. And if we go over, we see what type of gauge wire, that's a 9 gauge wire. But we know that 20 amps is more than 19, and we want to leave a little bit of room in, you know, in case something happens. So we would probably want to go up to 24 amps. And again, it looks like we would be using an 8 gauge wire. And then there's other systems that I've seen that said, you know, well, they use, uh, their system uses up to 24 amps. And so they use a 7 gauge wire uh, to make sure that it can handle all that. And then they also have like a, a 30 amp fuse or you know a 25 amp fuse or a 25 amp breaker as a as a backup so in case the amps start running away um, it won't overwhelm the electrical system melt the wires fryer system fry the electrical system of our vehicle and then we'll be really mad about this HHO stuff because we didn't basically we didn't think about what type of equipment we should use and match that to our to our system or our cell so anyway, that's why I like this website. Actually, I don't really like the website. I only like this table. But this is perhaps something that you can look at. And again, uh, all this stuff is up to you. You know what? Um, so if you use like a 19 gauge wire and you're trying to pump like 60 amps into your vehicle, into your cell, and your electrical system fries, you know what? That's your fault. Okay, this is for informational purposes only, and I have no warranty or liability whatsoever. So again, uh, just keep that in mind. Anyway, um, other than that, that's what I thought this site was good for, is looking and kind of matching up and seeing what gauge of wire we need for our systems that we install. So again, you have to be careful. Just because you find the installation instructions for one system that says use a 12 gauge wire, and your system actually is pushing like 20 or 30 amps, uh, yeah, don't be surprised if your wires get hot and they melt and fry your system. So anyway, uh, let's go back to the other video. So anyway, that's it. I uh, don't necessarily like the website. Matter of fact, I didn't click on any of the other links. All I just liked was the table. And to put me in the direction of that, I need to look at the requirements of my cell or the system that I'm using and to find out how many amps it needs and then go to this table or a similar table that you can find on the internet and to find out which gauge wire that you need to support that system so it doesn't overheat or melt or blow up or ruin your wife's minivan or SUV or whatever. So anyway, but that's it and if, oh by the way, if I'm uh, putting out some wrong poop uh, please let me know and uh, we'll get the right information out there. School me. I don't know anything. I'm a newbie. So, hey, if you tell me I'm wrong and you can back it up, that's great. Um, just want to put something out there to help all the newbies and the people who haven't installed their system out in a vehicle yet, like me, and uh, to kind of put us in the, in the right direction with this HHO stuff. So, anyway, uh, that's it. Peace. Catch you later.